you know, textbooks can basically make you or they can break you. Okay, so it is important that we get this right as soon as we start second year and hopefully stick with it throughout second year. So in this video, I want to talk about the textbooks that I would suggest for a second year medical student. And more importantly, you know, actually most importantly, the lessons that I've learned and the mistakes that I've made with regards to these textbooks. So firstly, let us talk about pharmacology. Okay, so I guess, as you can see here, pharmacology is a subject that I've spent a lot of time with. It is not because I'm really good at the subject or something, but because I had an amazing sir who actually taught us pharmacology in a very lucid manner. Actually, I asked my sir the same question and that is, you know, as a second year medical student, what, uh, what is the textbook that we should read and what are his thoughts on Tripathi? So this is what he said, you know, Tripathi is basically an extract of the bigger book that is Goodman and Gilman. Goodman and Gilman being the Bible of pharmacology. Now, when I say Bible, it means two things. Firstly, it means that it is a huge book, right? And secondly, it means that you don't actually need to read it. Basically, no one reads it, but invariably it is the best book out there. So given the idea that KD Party is the extract of Goodman and Gilman, right? I think it is a really good book that we can all read. And once you read the party, you'll understand that every other point seems important. And this is the reason because it is the extract of the bigger book that is Goodman and Gilman. In this given scenario, I think that Thrupadi is a very good book that uh, every second year medical student can read. And since it is actually connected to the bigger book, you know, having points, relevant points from the bigger book, I think that uh, it's a good pick. So the next time you are reading Thrupadi and if you ever get second thoughts on Thrupadi, the textbook of Thrupadi, you know, always understand that you are reading Goodman and Gilman, okay? You are reading the Bible. You are reading the bigger book. At least in our minds, we can actually be proud to say that we are actually reading Good man and Gilman, even though we are not. So that is about pharmacology. Now let us talk about pathology. Now when I say pathology, there is only one name that you can remind. Right, 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 right. When I talk about Robbins, there is only one thing that I ask you guys to do. And that is do not make the same mistake that I've made in second year. Now when I started off second year, I actually started by reading Robbins, okay? Uh, basic Robbins and after completing the first two chapters from Robbins, you know, we had the first major test Comprising these two first chapters, you know cell injury and uh, information So so the thing is I have been reading Robbins and these two chapters I have read it inside Robbins I have studied all the diagrams. It's all good. And then the exam came up, you know, I was well prepared for the examination I studied all the diagrams I had all my concepts to the point I took the test I I felt like I did a pretty good job and then when the results came I failed I still remember that I got 13 out of 40 for that test which actually completely turned the tables on me because I had thought that you know I have read Robbins I have studied everything but the problem was that I somehow didn't get any marks and there was this notion that prevailed the air that if you read Robbins you won't get marks. If you read Harsh Mohan, you will get marks. And I took that bait. That was a mistake. Okay, from that day onwards, I kind of refrained from Robbins and I started reading Harsh Mohan. And I started getting the results, the results being more marks. But, but that was unfortunately all I had, all marks and no concepts. And now that I've started third year and also have started, you know, reading a bit of fourth year subjects. And I can tell you that half of fourth year is basically second year. For understanding the disease, we have pathology. For the management of disease, we have pharmacology. And this is why we need to take advantage of second year. Okay. And how do we take advantage? We take advantage by reading standard books, standard books like Robbins. Now, the question that most of us will be asking is that, you know, first I have to pass second year. You know, and for passing, I need marks, right? If only if I pass second year, can I reach fourth year? And that is a genuine question. I can understand. So the thing I would do if I were to go back to second year is that I would spend 80% of my time reading Robbins and just as about when exams are coming, let's say one day, two day, or maybe even one week I go, I will just go through Harsh Mohan, you know, and you know, try to get those extra points so that our answers will be will be more fluffy so that the examiners will get an illusion that we know something 
and because of that we will get more marks that would be what i would do if i were to go to second year now now lastly let us talk about microbiology you see with microbiology i have this emotional attachment you know it actually started off as a subject that i hate and that i failed so hard in right but towards the end of the year i was actually among the top 3 in the class so micro is basically feels for me and there are two reasons why i was able to pull this off okay firstly i had an amazing sir faisal sir i'm not sure if he's going to see this but if he sees this i just want to tell him sir i love you he literally saved me and the second reason is that he actually you know suggested me this book okay instead of this book you know if you are anything like me and that is a uh, young dumb and stupid then this book is not for you because this book will tell you that you are young okay maybe not young but you are dumb and you are stupid it told me yes for some reason i was not able to retain the information in this book like for 5 minutes 5 minutes is my threshold more than 5 minutes i will forget it whereas in this book in this book what happens is that it gives you in a hierarchical format okay there is there is the headings there is the subheadings then there is the points and this helped me to retain the information a bit better and also get me good marks if you compare both these books you'll understand the information is kind of the same in both parties but what is different is the way of presentation on one hand the author just decided to just dump the information into the book and uh, present it in ncrt style i think the goal was to make this book the bible of microbiology right you know the two points right make it big and make sure that no one actually reads it yeah i think that was a goal with this book they did a very good job i have refrained from this book ever since then so the thing is if you are finding trouble for this book right just ditch this book and read this book i 100% approve this textbook Now if you have noticed that I have actually skipped foreign sick medicine out of this discussion and that is because I have skipped foreign sick medicine in second year if I analyze the amount of days I have studied foreign sick medicine it's really sad so I read this textbook called Ignatius which had a lot of images that was that was a key point in that book so even if I didn't remember anything as such for the examination I could at least think about the images and just write the description of the images and pass the exam the only thing i know about forensic medicine is that it is really an interesting subject and i wish i had more time reading it you know that is always the thought process when you are reading forensic medicine It's such a nice subject and lastly the point that i want to make is that in second year it is not uh, about being exceptionally good in just one subject and rather it is about being really good in all the other three subjects you know, for four subjects four subjects being good enough in four subjects that's 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 the goal i feel bad for forensic medicine i don't know if you have noticed but recently we have hit the 500 subscribers mark which is just something i'm really grateful for thank you guys thank you guys for the support thank you guys for the love yes i will try my best to share with you guys everything that i learned through this journey through this process and if you have something that you want me to make a video about you know please do let me know i would be much happy make a video about it if you liked this video smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and if you haven't subscribed already please do consider subscribe it because next up is 1000 subscribers let's get it with that being said i will see you in the next one peace mm.